This poem right here is uh, uh, just to get things warmed up. How many of y'all have been spanked or whooped when you was a little kid before? Don't lie, it's okay. Cool, this poem is called Whoopings right here. I'm gonna tell y'all something my mama used to say to me every time I did something bad. <laughs> she used to say, Jose David Guerrero Chavez Galvan! Get your butt inside this house! ¿Qué te dije la última vez, huh? What did I tell you last time? I remember hearing those words and my butt cheeks clenching like a pair of terrified chipmunks. It was time for a good old whooping. And my parents handed those out like the sky in Denver hands out snowstorms. My mother's cry was like thunder, cracking the night sky every time I gave her a reason to roar. Whoever said lightning never struck twice in the same place must have never felt my mama's hands. Yeah, but it wasn't just the hands that did the damage. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> See, my mother had the miraculous ability to transform any object into a weapon. <laughs> so I watched her mold chanclas into machetes and hairbrushes into grenades. These were our mannerism classes, lessons that I could recite like the back of my father's hands. See, he used to tell me he would hit me because he loved me. And now he wished that at my age, he had parents who cared enough to whoop him when he did something wrong too. Now quit moving. You're only making it worse. This is gonna hurt me more than it's gonna hurt you. And I believed him every time he said that. I felt the salt in my father's tears splash the wounds he left on my back and they still sting. Every time I hear my son cry, so today, I stand here looking at my scars and I ask myself if I want to be the one to give my son his first. And the answer is usually no. Because <laughs> I know one day he's going to say something that's going to make me want to grab him by his big old ear. But I'll explain to him that in our neighborhoods, whoopings can sometimes be warmer than a father's hug. So for all the parents out there dealing with the same dilemma, remember, life beats our kids enough as it is. Let's use our hands to help pull them back on their feet. Thank you. Yeah.